Welcome back. In this video, we will look at extensions in Dart. Let's have a look at the following example. Let's say that we have a list declared as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can print out the list. But let's say in a lot of parts of my coding, I need to actually work out the average of the values inside of this list. But if I put the dot there, you will see there's no method or anything I can use that actually acts as something that will help me to actually get the average of this list of numbers. So what we can do is to go and create a new file here and maybe have a file called useful operations dot dot. And in that file, we can create a class called useful operations. And we can have a static member, a static function there. And let's call this one average. But this average will return back a double. And that's the method. And it will accept a list of type integers. And let's call it list. Now it will give me an error because we need to return back a double. So we'll get to that now. So what we're going to do is you're going to pass in the list. And then we're going to have a for loop. Let's start with the sum first. So let's say var sum equals zero to work out the average. Then use the for loop var item in list. And then what I want to do is to say sum plus equals the item. And that will count or basically add all of the items, the value to the sum and where sum starts at zero. And then when we are done with the for loop, we can return back the average. And the average we work out by saying it's the sum divided by all of the values, which will be list dot length. Right, so this is how we can work out the average. And if I save it and go back to my example, if I now want to print out the average, I can just go and say, let's go to the class called useful operations, put the dot, use the average method and pass in the list. And now if I print it out, it will give me the average of those values as three. So what happened? We passed in the list. Uh, you'll see if you choose useful operations, it will import it at the top useful operations. So we use this class, the method average, we passed in our list, we ran through the list, we worked out the sum, and then we worked out and returned the average. So this is how you can actually create an average function and then use it this way. And this is also nice for code reuse because it's in a separate file. It's only used once. And every time you want to work out the average of a list, you can just call that method. Now, another way of doing this is making use of extensions. And this means I can actually go and do something like this. Instead of saying, uh, go to a specific class and get a function there, I want to go and say list dot something. And then my method should pop up here. But because I am not the person who created, if you uh, hover over this, you'll see it's a list class. I am not the person who created this list class. So I can use an extension to add some value to this list class. So let's look at an extension quickly. So to create an extension, you will use the extension keyword and you need to give your extension a name. So I'm going to name this one list average. And then you need to say on which class do you want to go and make changes. And I want to go and make changes on the list class where the list accepts integers. So basically, I want to add a method now to the list class, but only when the list contains integer values. Right. So now what I can do is to go and say, well, let's do that average method again. I will have double average, actually exactly the same as we had previously. So let's go to useful operations. This whole average method there's the opening and closing brackets. We're not going to have it as static. So I'm just going to copy it as it is. And it will look like this. So basically what I'm saying is double average. But in this case, I will not get in the list as an argument. Because what I want to do is go and say list dot. And I want to use the average now. And you can see it picks it up. Although it's not, it's not going to work because there's a lot of errors in there. So we're going to say list.average, and it's now referring to this average method. So there is an object list that is calling the method. 
So when we work out the average, we will not pass in something, we will call a method. And we want to just work out the average because we already know it's this list. So we don't need to pass it in as well. It's the one that calls the method. So I'm going to say var sum equals zero, var item in. Now this list is not defined. So instead of saying list, I'm going to say this. So what is this? This is the thing calling the method. It's the list. So this list is the one that I want to run through. So using the this keyword is referring to this list that is calling the method. That's the list. So I'm saying var item in this, the thing calling the method, and I'll say sum plus equals item, and then I can say return sum, and instead of saying list there, again use this dot length. And then it's working. So we'll say list dot average, we'll go to the average there, and work out the average and return it back for you. So now if I run this, we will see the exact same output. It's still 3.0. In the same way, we can have another extension and let's call it list sum. And instead of calling it average there, we'll call it sum and we will return the sum and not the average. But now the sum will be an integer. So let's change that to an integer. Save it. Now I'll go back and you'll see instead of saying average there, we can just say sum. Run it again, and we'll get the sum of all values. So extensions is a way to add some methods or functionality to an existing class without needing to use extends to inherit from that class, which means the type will still stay the same. So the list type is still type list. It's not your own type of list class that you created. It's still of the same type, but you are adding functionality to it using extensions. Now, in order to create extensions for every single class, that won't be useful at all. I'm just going to remove that import there at the top. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new file called, let's say, useful extensions. Dot, dot. And now let's go back to extensions. I'm going to take these two extensions, cut them out of this file which will give a problem now with some there, go to useful extensions and just paste them there and you can save. So they can be in their own class, all of your useful extensions. And then if you want to use them, you will just use import at the top and then go to that specific file name. And we call them useful extensions. And now you've got access to it. So in any class that you want to use those extensions, then you can just have your import for the file name at the top and then you can use it as you want. That's it for extensions. See you in the next one.